Okay, officially welcome everyone to the 13th DSFTWA Invitational Clan Tourney. We will be having Shadow Crows up against Pajama Warriors and uh, I'm going to do this real quick since the teams can't, uh, they want to alternate between servers. I'm going to on stream right now decide uh, who is going to go uh, like, um, so wh wh what the first game is going to be. Is it going to be NA or is it going to be you? So let's decide this right here right now. So heads is going to be NA and tails is going to be you. So let's just flip this coin. And it's heads, so it looks like um, the first game is going to be NA. Okay, and we are getting this game started. Wonder who's gonna go T2, if it's gonna be Joe or Uip and Tamillion or Redal. Like we saw in the previous match yesterday between Save the Last Dance for Us and the mentees that uh the t2 terrans mattered a lot like the marines don't really counter libs it seems like anymore like the libs are just stronger than than just marines and then the ravens kind of counter the libs but then the marines counter the raven so it's kind of like a rock paper scissors things i feel like um so what kind of okay never mind Tamillion just opening straight up marauder <laughs> <laughs> doesn't even think about it. He's just straight up Marauders and Joe makes a Reaper. Okay, so spawning on the top side, we have Pajama Warriors. We have Eskimo Joe, followed by Reborn B, and then Uwip with the Dahaka. And on the bottom side, we have the Shadow Crows, Tamillion, Pew Pew Prince and read out. Now let's see how this first engagement goes and it's gonna go in favor of Tamillion. So Tamillion wins this one uh, very handily. And it seems like, okay, uh, Joe was making some Marines there but he sold, he's preparing for the Marauder Reaper. So Marauder Reaper, uh, it's supposed to beat Marine Reaper or Marines in general. So Marauder Reaper is the one you want, that's the composition you want to have against just pure Marines or Marine Reaper kind of style. Yeah, and Pew Pew with kind of what I expected to see out of him, just Mass Lings. But Mass Lings, uh, we can see that Uweb is trying to utilize this Mass Ling style to try to s stack these libs. And Readout, I think Readout was expecting some Marine some marine play coming out of you but I don't see, I haven't seen like I, I would have thought that if Joe was already showing that he was going to go Marauder Reaper then he kind of would expect it so I'm not sure what the Reapers are for but okay and Tamillion loses this very uh some Marauders leaking five Marauders okay now very interested what is Reborn B going to do against Ling Bane we've seen Terrence um, try to I personally try to answer it with bio for example, but he's gonna go pure hellbat now These are a lot of banes and these banes. They do clean the hellbats even though they have the upgrades Okay, yeah, but The spread on these hellbats was strong enough that the banes weren't able to clear all of them Okay, now let's see this interaction so Uweb is trying to answer the libs from Reed with two ravens. And Vidop tried to go marines and it looks like... Well, this, both libs are gonna stay alive, so both teams are going to have some libs, but Vidop's libs sleeping on the job that's no siege, it was just attacking liberators doing barely any DPS. So the top team is going to get the advantage there, I think that was a... Kind of a blunder there. Okay, and Pew Pew Prince going for his mass bane. And he also, it's good to point out that uh, Pew Pew already has a gas, a very Pew Pew esque style. Okay, we can see that the mass bane strategy uh, definitely clears the Hellbats. So my Hellbats uh, do not win against Ling Bane, really. Like, if, if you have enough banes, the banes can clear the Hellbats no problem. The issue is that. Um, well, Pupu needs to kill this bunker really quickly uh, for his teammates to have a good chance at coming back at this game because 
I don't think Readout is having a really good time against Uib. Uib with his Lib Raven is completely countering the bio of Readout. So I'm not sure what the kind of like going for everything sort of approach is working here for Reed because Reed, but he kind of went for everything, right? He has uh, Marines, Reapers, Libs, Ravens, like. It's clearly getting countered very heavily. And this is a lot of Marauders, actually. This Photon Cannon is going to take a lot of damage. It's already 50% uh, HP and it's going to go down. Yeah, the Marauders are still alive, so it goes down. Now, these Bens, they really do not care at all about these Hellbots. Uh, sorry, about the Liberators. Okay, now the Marauders are standing strong. The Marauders can tank a lot of Banelings. Okay, now I see a kind of an issue because Readout is the one that's going T2. And not Tim. Okay, now Pew Pew is going for T2. So, not Tim, right? Um, and what that means is usually you'd want to see the team with the Zerg going for a sort of TC stack. That's sort of what we usually see. The Terran going for some Lib Raven and the Zerg trying to catch with some Ling Bane Muta. And since people is going for Ling Bane Muta, that's what I would have thought that they were going for. Maybe they thought it was a little bit too predictable. And that's why they made Reed go T2. But now look at these Marauders, man. Like, there's so many. Um, like, the, the Banes are just crashing against Marauders. So See, barely any Bane is going to survive to Reborn B's wave. And now Reborn gets the easy clear. And the thing is, like, now Reborn B, you can see him going for T3, because he has no worries. Like, he can just go straight doors now. Okay, so Reed with some Ravens. Let's see how his micro is going to be. Yeah, but look at this. Like, Ueb has four libs, uh, four Ravens to read out five. And now, to Million's army, he, he's forced into Marauder Reaper. Like, he can't build that many Marines because his army is going to split up. And if he starts building Marines, his wave is going to be even weaker against this Marauder Reaper wave. Okay, gets the anti-armor missile on the Muta. So this these are... Uh, nine mutas. Yeah, but look at this. B already has doors by the six minute mark. You know how comfortable as a Terran that feels like, okay, you already have doors, you already have Widow Mines, and you're up against a Zerg. You have Hellbats against Ling Bane. You have Marauders. You have uh, Widow Mines. Like, this, this feels so good for the Terran. Okay, some straight turrets there. Yeah, but this is the issue. See, Readout's turrets are already used, so his ravens are completely out of energy. And by the time they reach their actual wave, while you whips, they have extra energy because they made it all the way from the planetary fortress to the middle without having to engage with anything. So they have just an insane amount of energy. And actually, some energy still left alive on these uh, ravens, so he's gonna get yet another anti armor missile off, and it's huge. Almost all the mutas get covered in red by the anti armor missile, so that's actually gonna be. Uh, very strong. Okay, so the top team is just executing their strategy almost perfectly, I would say. Like, it's it's working exactly as they imagined it, I would say. So I'm very curious to see what the bottom team, how they're going to try to come back. And we can kind of see already what they are trying to do. They are trying to stack Ravens. Readout is just starting to go full-on mass Raven against Uib's build. Okay, and this is the actual. This is not bad. Like the, the, these are a lot of Raven turrets. Raven turrets do a lot of damage against what you have has, but the issue is that even though Tamillion catches, there's Tamillion has no anti air. He's absolutely no anti air. Yub's libs are liberators are still standing strong, and he's even adding Vikings now. Okay, and these libs are doing great damage against the mutas. They really have that, um, those Lexington rockets that do AoE damage. Already triple Thor out with so many Widow Mines. Okay, 
Yeah, these turrets are so far away from the doors, they're never gonna reach. They really need that. I'm not sure if he has that plus one range for the turrets. Okay, and here we go. This is the big money moves that we're trying to see from the bottom team. Okay, so Tamillion did a massive sell-off. He sold all of his bio. He just has libs and ravens now. So they are going to try to stack on these libs. But these libs, they have anti-armor missile. Are the mutas going to catch up in time? And three of them are still standing strong. Actually, they are going to survive. Um, okay, good siege. The mutas are still going to be in front. And... Actually, Reborn B doesn't have a lot of anti air. He just has these doors, which, you know, to be honest, like, let's, they are doors. But if these Widow Mines don't land on the Mutas, then this is going to be a perfect clear. Yeah, and the Mutas just clean all of the Widow Mines. So it is going to be Widow Mine Lib. And Redub has all of his U energy still there. Now, UF has a lot of Marines, granted. The, the, this might be really strong. Let's see how this engagement goes. And the turrets go down. Now, let's see. I'm actually not sure who's gonna win, but the Interference Matrix landed on UAB's army, but I'm not sure there's anything worth Interference Matrix since there. Okay, he gets the second round of turrets. Okay, and the turrets, yeah, but the turrets, the turrets are just not as good as they used to. Those three armor difference from those turrets really showing there that the bio just completely annihilated the turrets in seconds. It used to take marines a long time to clear those turrets, but now they're made of paper instead of metal. Okay, there we go. That's the massive turret deployment coming from Reed. It's a lot of turrets, but the turrets are going down. Not a lot of them still standing. It's only eight ravens. Yeah, and you have now knows he only has to add bio and he will just have more units than readout does now, I'm not sure how strong these lips are going to be for you have now Since the million sold his ground But yeah, those um, I would like to see him get plus two attack But the anti-armor missile is just making a huge difference and now look at these libs man. Yeah, actually, the libs are just clearing everything. They're gonna clean the libs, they're gonna clean the ravens, they're gonna clean the mutas, they're just... The libs are the new cleanup crew. And now let's look at this from B's perspective. Okay, and let's look at this from Uwip's perspective. I'm curious to see how he looks at this engagement. The Thors are hitting on the Nexus. That's a lot of damage, and let's see his micro. Okay, so he, he did deploy the anti-armor missiles, but the thing is, Uwip's army, if there, there's one thing about Uwip's army, right? Like, it, it's not really good at killing the Nexus, so it makes the game take a lot longer. And also, Joe has a lot of bio, and this bio, man, it really disappears to the banes of Pew Pew. Pew Pew has so many mutas, oh my god, how many mutas is this? It's almost... It's about 57 mutas, I think he has deployed right now. That's an insane amount of mutas. Okay, but the libs don't really get to siege on the si on top of the Thors. They get taken out. Yeah, and the problem with this engagement is like the Thors are so strong against the Ravens. The Ravens got, I think they got an HP nerf or something. They they, they definitely got nerfed all in in so many ways, and the Thors just clear them really quickly. So many libs. Okay, and here we have the first BC coming out of Tem with that plus three armor, but even though it has that armor, oh no, the BC warped to the back, so it's not really gonna contribute an awful lot. Yeah, it didn't protect the libs, and it just died. Oh my god, everything painted in red. You can see the mutas, you can have 80 or 200 of them, it doesn't matter, the liberators 
do AoE damage and the mutas like to clump up. So many widow mines from B. Okay, and, and we we have to pick. Like, we also have to realize these B has plus three doors, so these are six plus three attack doors. That's a lot of DPS, and they're still alive. And now, even though Tamillion has two BCs, that's also two doors. So the doors are gonna take down the BCs. But again, there's nothing to attack this Nexus, so it is going to survive for a long time. At least for a couple more minutes. You can also see that the top team is very confident. They already have six gas to the one gas of the bottom team. That's pajama warriors with six gas. Oh, Muta barbecue, absolutely disgusting. They all get exploded out of existence. This is a lot of turrets, the Widow Mines are all going down, the doors go down, everything goes down. Some Liberators from Reed. Yeah, but I don't think those... I think he could have seen a lot better there. The Liberators kind of went really forward, and they were in range of the Ravens. And once they come in range of those Ravens, the Interference Matrix starts going down. It just makes all the Terran units useless. Well, all the mechanical units completely useless. Okay, now Eskimo Joe is already teching up into Thor's. Now, that is a very good sign for the Pajama Warriors, a very bad sign for the Shadow Crows. Yeah, these couple of stray tag lings and veins are just not enough to deal with the very mm, information Terran army. Okay, Ma manual on siege from Reed, but he's not sieging on the Thor, so the Thors are gonna stay alive. Okay, now you have you have already on Thors as well. He already has, like this is the dream Terran army right now. I think in DVT, he has libs to deal with anything. He has a lot of ravens. He has marines. He has Thors. He has the. This is what Terran dreams are made of. Okay, and Pew Pew leaves the game, so GG is called and the bottom team accepts defeat. They know they're too far behind in this game to come back. And Pajama Warriors take game number one. Well, TVT is like a heck of a matchup now, right now, so it's not that easy. Yeah, like, yeah. It's, 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 it's really, really hard, I think, like TVTs now. It's, it's very mind gamey. I don't like it. <clears throat> I like mechanical matchups a little bit yeah, more than. Yeah, also, 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 yeah. Also, yeah. Yeah. like mechanical matchups but, more than man, mind game matchups. When I check my statistics in the websites, uh, I see my TVTs is the best matchup that I do. But even for me, like now, it's the meta shifting too many times. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but the, yeah, exactly. It did shift a lot. Yeah. So, let's get this game going. On the yeah. top, we have the Pajama Warriors, so that's going to be Joe, Reborn B, and Ueb at the third lane. And we have a first guess, immediate guess, also. And the bottom team, we have Shadow Crows, we have Pew Pew, and we have Tamillion. So Tamillion's gonna be at the bottom. And of course, yes, the one gas from Pew Pew. And Pew Pew, this time, he's going straight T2. So Pew Pew is going to attempt a different strategy. Uh, you can see that Joe went for the corner build. And this one Reaper from Rita might actually be able to take middle. Yeah, very nice. Okay, so that one Reaper stands yeah, there. Yeah, and it's still there. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I see. And these Lings are going to kill the Reaper, so they're going to take middle. That's yeah. a very nice uh, income advantage being traded back and forth between the two teams. 
Okay, uh, we can see here the, the from UWEB's Liberator and like uh, Timillion just didn't do anything. Timillion so... sold. Oh, sold. I see. Timillion is trying to do a very sneaky, sneaky mind game. He yes, yes. <laughs> Marauder Reaper sold. So he's trying to convince UWEB that he's gonna go uh, ground units, and so UWEB might be thinking, okay, so if he's gonna go Marauder Reaper, then he, that means he's gonna go Marines or something. So, uh -huh. UWEB is gonna try maybe yeah. adding more libs. Yeah. I know. But this is still, like, no one making units. This is interesting. <laughs> yeah, no units from Pew Pew. Pew, Pew, Pew still hasn't... Sh he actually hasn't committed to T2 just yet. Pew Pew hasn't reached it. I mean, this could be canon, like, if people are... Yeah, and B also hasn't committed to teach you just yet. Okay, the one and lip they, is actually making uh, the... Yeah, yes! Making the lip oh, raven is, stack. He should, he should scan ahead, otherwise his lip can die here, actually. No scan? No scan, okay, so that, yeah, that one lip is gonna go down. The ravens, not... The raven turrets are not very yeah, strong Yeah, yeah, this, this was... This was bad, he should have scanned him, I think. Yeah, now kind of readout has shown his hand where he is Marauder, Marine Reaper. And mm -hmm. Joe can just stop making Marines and just focus on Marauder Reaper and just win. Okay, but Pew Pew why the there's no units from Pew Pew? I have no idea, really. Pew Pew is waiting for the big commitment from Reed and before he makes units. Oh, sorry, for, yeah, from Reborn B. Mm hmm. I don't know. But this much uh, Halbert wouldn't do so much, I think, to. Maybe some, but not. Do the, do that the Widow much, Mines I shoot guess. at the cannon? I mean, they can, they can damage the Raven, as you see. Mm. Yeah, I mean, this can be good for Timillion, but if he stays alive like that, let's see. Yeah, the libs are gonna stack. There's no way these libs are gonna get cleared. Yuweb is trying to put... Okay, but that anti-armor missile might make all the difference, and there's two libs still standing. Okay, the libs yeah. finally went down. The lib from Tem is still alive, but yeah, it's gonna get cleared. But yeah, with what cost? This is too much cost right now. This actually might be the cannon, because... Pew Pew hasn't committed to an army. Finally, he shows what he's gonna do. And he's gonna go for mass Hydra. And they, he mean, has this... to push right now. He has to. I mean, this is still okay for. I mean, yeah. cannon loss is not as much bad as before right now. So. Well, he needs to win this wave. So let's see how these Widow Mines are uh, gonna he trade. Will, he will probably win here. So. Yeah, the Hydra Widow is pretty good, yeah. Yeah, the, the Widow Mines just didn't get good connections on the Hydras. Now the Hydras are going to do a lot of damage to UWEB's army. And now it's going to be up to Timillion to be able to clear this. Now let's see how good his... Uh... I mean, uh, I think... But the Ravens from UWEB are still alive and they're going to throw their turrets out. And these turrets are doing a lot of damage. Now Marines come, they catch on time, and the libs from Tim go down. Mm-hmm. Okay, they really needed to push that wave, and now it's gonna be even harder to come back. I think uh, Tamilian needed much more lips here, instead of like that much raven, maybe. Maybe more even count of raven lip. I'm not sure I what think. the right, what the correct unit composition should because, be for Tim. Because uh, what what was there was like. Uh, he needs more more units to stack. Like ravens are not that strong anymore to stack. A lip stack much better. And like you see, if there is enough lips, they lips can actually clear a lot of stuff. Yeah, the liberators need to be more expensive, man. Can we agree on that? <laughs> yes, yes, for sure. Like the lips should be more expensive. But you see how it's used also very very important. So like both teams are using liberators so but important thing is how you use them right like how much and 
build order. Now it's it's really ripped because they cannot handle like the, the that much leaks. It's yeah, really hard. It's and this mass hydro army is not gonna trade well against the marines coming out of BB. It's just adding by how that yeah, marine how that and stuff. Yeah, this yeah. is too much. <laughs> Hydra's just melted. They didn't even get yeah. to do anything. They just disappeared. Okay, now the Widow Mines are connecting and the Lib Raven, and they're actually even getting AoE damage. Mm -hmm. So B is going to be able to clear Tem's wave as well. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these Libs. There's not a lot to say, man. Uip's control with those lips has been very good the whole tournament. He's been playing the lips every single match. And mm -hmm. they've been working out very well for them. Yeah, I mean, you see, like, the, the, the army composition is more important than, than many things. Like, micro is very important, but, like, uh, like in this level, everyone can micro in general. And uh, the, the army composition is the most important and how you build order, right? Like, yeah, and it seems like a lot of the players uh, haven't really figured out how to play the TVT very well. Mm-hmm, yeah. And you have just, I like, mean, knows what to do in the TVTs. And, and uh, like, the seeds are, like, really late, and uh, the turrets under the, like, automatic turrets are on. Like, I don't know. Two minimum stacks being done, I guess. Yeah, it does feel like uh, two million has given up a little bit, so. I mean, at this phase, I think PPU needs like, like investors, uh, maybe even lurker. Oh, also Tris, very interesting. Yeah. So, last game. They didn't lose because their Nexus died. They lost because Pew Pew left the game. Really? Yes. Why? Well, I can't really answer that. No okay, guess. no one knows. Yeah, that's for Pew Pew <laughs> to answer, not me. Um, okay. But it's looking very similar to that last game where the top team has a very strong advantage. Yeah, you can see that even though Readout has mass marines, the mass marines just don't do anything against libs, man. The libs don't care. I mean, you see, like, uh, UEP makes the, all the right units right now. Like. Yeah, and I'm not sure these just Hydras are gonna make a huge difference, you know? Because Pew Pew is just adding Hydra, Hydra, Hydra. And they could use that plus two armor. I think the plus two armor would make a huge difference, but. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what Pew Pew can do. I mean, if I ever was uh, Tamillion, like, I wouldn't add so much... Uh, no siege from Tim. The libs just yes. fly yes, into their I know. I mean, I'm probably there just uh, having a hot conversation in between teams, so that affects people, right? Like, So, uh, also leaving the game, mm, I think, is not a good uh, confidence maker for other teammates team players right so I, I think, I think I, I, uh, to be honest I think like it's it's normal to leave the game if you know you lost like it, it happens yes, in Starcraft yes. 2 games all the time really. yeah 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 but but in tournaments I think it's a bit different and no, also no, you like, ask so, so for example for example um, I, I was watching worlds right and players you know even though they're, they're all their hatcheries aren't dead like the zergs leave mm -hmm. the game if they know they lost or maybe like the Terrans they they don't really need to lose all their structures yeah, before yeah. they, I, they tap I know, I know, but they're they're alone. They're one v ones. This is three v three. It's that's fair. I'm not sure how how much they talked about it as a team. Like, oh, let's leave together, mm -hmm. or how much it was a one yes. person deciding the whole thing. I just mm -hmm. think like it's normal to leave the game if you know it's over. I think here, like Tim, uh, just overmake Ravens. A lot more. I mean, he needed, I think, probably more lips after he sees that much marines. And also, like, he needs its Vikings, like, as... Oh, 
I see. We have a huge stuff, but I don't know if this this was a really like yeah. double lips. I don't know if it works really. Yeah, this is. Uh, I don't know. Like, yeah. This this wasn't a good follow up. I think. Yeah. Yeah, the lips. But, uh, I'm not yeah. sure the lips was the right call there. They were trying to do something, so I'm glad to see something was tried, but yeah, it wasn't gonna work. Wow, man. I, I don't wanna spoil the worlds, uh, the, you know, I am um, Katowice, but. Ah, what a great match. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna watch later, I guess. Yeah, no, no, I don't, I don't wanna talk about the, the results, because some people might. Uh, not be watching it, where they might be watching it. I mean, it last time. last time I watched, it was Dark versus Hero <laughs> also, right? Like last time, it was really, really great game. That's the match that just ended, Dark versus Hero. <laughs> no, 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 not this time. I mean, previous tournament, so there was one also series that was amazing. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm just letting you know that was just the round of eight right now, Dark versus Hero. Okay, okay, I see. Okay, so T2 coming out of Temelian and Uip. Mm -hmm. So the top team once again is going to be the Pajama Warriors. Eskimo Joe, Reborn B, and mm -hmm. Uip. And on the bottom side, we have Readout, Temelian, and the Pew Pew Prince. Alright. A very similar over to the last game where Eskimo Joe went on the bottom side and Readout went to the top side. And once again, mm -hmm. he's going to take middle, but this time, for some reason, B's Reaper is just superior. And he does end yeah. up winning. Yeah. Okay, okay, and Pew Pew Prince, right. as I predicted, he just turns on the Marine Printer. That's that's what his TVT looks like. He just goes mass Marine. I think it's very, very predictable. And you, I think, I think, I think Marines still early game. Very good. No, they, you can see like they're walking single file line into libs. They don't. They don't have steam also, which is interesting. Oh, actually, they won, huh? Well, yeah. they might win the first round. The problem is the next rounds. But let's see. This might be enough to skyrocket them into a victory. Uh, I mean, as long as PP Prince adds uh, right units, like maybe a couple Raven and uh, Vikings, I think. Well, the, the thing they is, jo be fine. Joe has Marines, and Marines just lost against Marauder Reaper, especially even with Elite, right? Like, these Marines from Joe are just not the right unit he should be having right now. And now, Tamillion, look at his army it's Ling, Ravager, and Roach. While B hasn't really committed to anything, you can see a lot of things being thrown there. Like, oh look, it's Ling Roach Ravager. B, what are you gonna do? Mm -hmm. Oh, but Tamillion used his. That's a lot of damage coming on the bunker. The bunker is already 50% uh, below H uh, HP. Mm -hmm. But this is a yes. lot of libs, and these libs are plus one libs. Okay, now no Marines are stim. Yeah, but they don't have plus one, so they're barely doing any damage. This is gonna be a huge. Yeah, I don't, lead. I don't understand why, like, uh, pew pew actually like tried to delay the upgrades. That's really like useless. Yeah, you really need that plus one, especially against you that had plus one armor, because that's just one less damage per attack, and that is a lot of less damage. Yep. And this will cost uh, the Zerg a lot of. Units now. Okay, but you have with a mischaracteristic, uh, bad lib siege. The lib was just flying, and but yeah. Okay, the, this is still not over, but it's. Yeah, it's, B didn't. They, they can't. They they can't actually afford more problem here. Yeah, the thing is, like B didn't really commit to help out Widow Mine. He switched into Bio. I think that Bio army is gonna be really strong. Okay, now. Pupil finally has plus one, and these plus one marines just chew through the lips. Yeah, yeah. The, all the lips went down, and now this is gonna be really good for the bottom team once again. Yes. Yeah, look at the amount of reapers that Readout has. Just enough reapers for all of Eskimo Joe's units, so they're all gonna go down. 
Says, there is no stem stem from yeah. Reed, Marauders, which is also strange. Yeah, but Reed has one one upgrades to Joe's zero zero upgrades. I mean, it's four minutes. I think you can add also stem. For we what? need for more who? damage, for, not for less Reed? damage. For, yes, for Reed. Yeah, but Reed barely has any Marauder. He's like mass Reaper. I think that's maybe why he doesn't have stim. And Timillion is going to clear this wave no problem. I mean, yeah. it's, it's important he damage the next wave also, so... Oh, no, don't use it! But yeah, but no, no, okay. he, ju he just needs the fungal to land. Is the fungal gonna land? And it does! That's a lot of DPS. It's 30 damage okay. on a couple of them. Okay, and, and also, the Shroud! Also, and the Shroud, yes. Yeah, but the Shroud didn't that's... really contribute anything. Yeah, I mean, this is still stack. I mean, you can't... Can't like uh, it's really hard. Yeah, Readout has no anti air, so these lips are definitely gonna stay alive. They're doing so much damage. You can look at Reed's army just disappearing. But okay, Reed does clear Joe. That is something. Okay, and the the vials from Timillion are there. They clean the libs. They clean. They're gonna land. Uh, the infest yeah. infestor shroud is good, but the issue I mean, is that B has so many marauders, man. I mean, it's still fine. I think here that they did this. I mean, but the problem is like uh, PP cannot clear this probably, or can he? I think he can. Yeah. There's okay, no... I think he can. Okay, this is good <laughs> for them. Yeah, and, at and least, he, but uh, every time that B just like the top team takes the middle and they win, the libs then kind of like are on their yeah. own and they kind of just die. They need like a little bit of bunker support. I mean, I I must say, PP Prince cannot make a zero mistake here. I mean, cannot I mean, make any mistake. Readout barely won that, and I think I'm not sure when I he got no that stem. Why. Yeah, he should have won that more heavily. Yes. Okay, now it's gonna be up to Tim. Oh, the bi okay, the Biles okay. are kind of there. Biles are good, but yeah. It's okay, not there. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, there we go. Okay, okay yeah. This is good. Yeah. Okay, three, this yeah. Is three rabbits. Yeah. Three rabbits. Oh, they I like this. Okay, we have a Raven. Are we gonna get an anti armor so. missile? Lance yes. perfectly covers almost all the Liberators and they're gonna go down very quickly. You can see the difference when that anti-armor missile is this, there and this it's can not. be actually bunker and if there is one more anti-armor... No, no, really, there's no really... way. Yeah, there's no energy on that Raven. There was for maybe... There was 68. Third, but yeah, yeah, I was yeah. waiting. Yeah. Okay, and actually the Shadow Crows are back in this game. and they're, I would dare even say that they're ahead right now. I mean, right now PPU only needs uh, Vikings, not Marine, not any more Marines. Um, so uh, if he continues makes Marines, uh, they will lose because like lip range uh, is so much. In the long run, the divergence of the waves are like they're like clashing together, and the lips stay alive, and then it's a big problem. Yeah, I would really like yeah. to see Tamillion switch sides. It's still on the right side yes. instead of the left side. Yeah, I mean, I mean, Tamillion definitely should switch sides. I don't know why he's still there. Yeah, okay, these he's lips making are a line. Survive. He's making a line. So, mm -hmm. if there is actually here uh, some Vikings, they could stop it. So, yeah, there was no now real it's... reason for Tem to be on the right side instead of the left side. You already knew yeah. from the previous wave where. Joe was, and they're gonna give. Uh, sorry, mean, where you I, was. I, I mean, I mean, now this is a free middle for the top team, like uh, because uh, because PPU has two more ravens and more marines, no Viking at all. The shrouds are good. Let's see how the bios are gonna do. I mean, here, uh, Tamilian can't do anything because like there, there are five lips stacking here. Okay, they really need this bunker to stay alive. Interference matrix? No interference matrix. Yeah, I don't okay. know why. He could. This is nowhere near enough. Where is where is turrets? Yeah, I mean, turret. I don't understand. What is he waiting for? Okay. Yeah. 
Yes, exactly. I think he also needs just, just disable. Just disable, maybe. I don't know, really. Like, this is hurtful to watch. <laughs> this is really hurting. I mean, if Pew Pew knows how to play, I think uh, I should have made the right units, not Ravens. <clears throat> if you are pushing, I mean, in defensive, maybe Ravens better, but. Uh, when you're pushing, you can't use Ravens. I mean, not, not mass at least. Yeah. Maybe Vikings would they have been better. Have... Yes, yes, Vikings. I was telling the whole game, like, where is Vikings? There is zero Vikings. Yeah. Now Europe is just adding Marines at the bottom. And there is, there is no turret. And like, I mean, this, yeah. this is like, this is now too easy for top team because. Uh, GPU's army is not uh, really ready for the... Yeah, Ravens are just not as good as they used to be. I mean, even if they were, this is not the way how you do it. Okay, and Tamilin now is adding a Corruptor, even though B has no air units. So uh, he's already preparing for the next wave, which I don't think is the right call there. Oh, the pre-turrets I don't like the, anymore, because the, 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 the Marines are hitting the turrets first. Okay, and... this can be actually a turn. No, I don't think but so. But the thing is, as soon as... Uh... Dude, there's 10 libs. 4 turrets, yeah, I'm not I mean, gonna that kill is, 10 that libs. Is, that is not disable also. I have zero idea why he doesn't use his energy for disable. I mean, I can understand uh, PPU's team members' agony right now. <laughs> 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 because we saw this type of uh, gameplay all the time. I mean, in the past, everyone tried to counter lips with ravens, but it's not uh, like it's not really uh, enough alone. Really, there's no way. Especially now where like, you can see like the marines just completely shoot through the turrets now. The turrets. Yeah, 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 because turrets doesn't have enough HP now, like it's less and not much armor, like as right. before. So, as you say, like marines just kill them much with much more ease. Like, yeah, it used to be that you needed some marauders even to clear the turrets because the turrets were yes. so strong. Yeah, they were 150 HP, now I think they're... And but the three armor is really the huge boost, I think. Like without the plus yeah, three armor. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they had also like some internal armor. Now it's zero. So. Yeah, that's the three armor I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. You just have one armor, and you would get a plus two upgrade armor. Okay. I, I don't know if it was applied in yes though. Not sure. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. They got eliminated. Okay. It only has zero. It has zero armor, and the only upgrade it has is the for the plus one range. Yeah, I mean that's that's too much. Yeah, too much the ravens now. feel really weak, and the libs feel insanely strong. Yes. So I'm not sure if the price tag changed. With, uh, with this, uh, is what? there is there a price tag change for the ravens already or not? It's two to five. Oh, it's two to five now, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, but that's awful. Check like, it lately. I mean, yeah, okay. It's it's not bad. Okay, so the anti-armor missile is still really strong, right? It's I think it's now similar, more similar to what uh, the Sentry does for the Protoss, where the Sentry grants a plus yeah. two armor, but the Raven yeah. grants a minus two armor. It, it, it's kind of on the same level. I think that's pretty fair. It's it's a pretty fair price tag. Like, yeah. The the Raven shouldn't be a, a, a it should be a support unit. It shouldn't be like the main unit. Mm -hmm. Um, but the lives, man, the lives two to five, like, 
I think that's for people that don't siege libs manually, but with this manually sieging and unsieging libs, there's no way it can't stay it can stay at 225. Like I would think either remove the manual siege and drop the price a little bit more or increase the price. Yeah, I think uh, like uh, lips at least should be 250. I don't know how, why they're still 225. Uh, so they need to be really 250. Yeah, they're really like a uh, good unit in this. I don't mind making them cheaper if you remove the manual siege. Like kind of like you did the swarm host where you can't borrow on burrow. I think uh, removing the manual siege is just uh, killing the game overall. I mean, any kind of micro but then, uh, is play what? playable is 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 just uh, important for high end games. If if it's just like uh, I don't know, random like aut automatic games, then I think you you dump down the game mechanics and the. the I agree with left, you, left. but yeah. they they did that for the swarm host. Remember, like the swarm host, you could used to be able to borrow and borrow, and then they removed that. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's not uh, as much impacting the game, I think, as as Liberator or Stalker. Or, I don't know, I, I, and I also did not uh, agree on that, to be honest. Maybe it, for it, it was it really was good because against. Protoss. I mean, I, I mean, it was probably because uh, the stackability problem. The swarm host? I mean, yeah, I mean, if you just uh, borrow it and stay there, if the if, if the game somehow... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, that, bug, that, yeah. that, that it, it is kind of uh, like a cheat, right? So, uh, it's kind of a bug cheat and uh, that that's not good. I mean, even if you, you fix it, I mean, Tia fix it, then the next game can be still unfixed somehow and like, there can be problems with that I remember several times there was problems like that yeah so but I, I, I think th okay so I, I agree with you like it, it was a bug mm -hmm. it, sh it should have been uh, like, it was kind of like a I don't want to say lazy way of dealing with the problem but it was a way of dealing with the problem um, mm -hmm. yeah libs need to be more expensive I think yeah, lips, lips definitely need more expensive. Uh, I mean, doesn't matter if, if it's m microable or not. Any good player should micro at them, right? So yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's um, uh, that's uh, mandatory stuff. Okay. I mean, at least this game they don't give up. So this is this is more of like a standard game. In general, where they try to come back, and I, I can see the, I can see their resolve a bit better this game, at least. They are still trying. Even though I'm this, is, yeah. this is the first game that has made it past 15 minutes. Yeah. I mean, That's like as you, as I said, like uh, why there is zero Viking. I mean now. You have just uh, sealing the deal with the Vikings. Uh, where is the Vikings? I don't understand. Yeah, there's no air protection for Pew Pew's lips. Yes, the... yes. And also, everyone is front for the bottom team. I mean, this is again like uh, there is no comeback here because uh, you the, the advantage is coming with the counter units, right? So if you counter a unit before enemy already counter what you counter that then you have a edge but if you are so much late that that you can counter with some unit another unit but the enemy already counters your unit with his units that you had to counter another unit then, then there is no way you can come yeah back. so the i think what you tried to say is that the top team has such a huge advantage that they are countering what yeah. the bottom team has and they're already countering yeah. what the bottom team could do to counter what they have, so like yeah, countering both yeah, things. So exactly. there's, there's nothing to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. There is now there's too much gap. There's like no making. There's no like extra technology that they could tech into to try to sneak in a victory at this point. Uh, I mean, they can still uh, counter what they need, but it's too late. Like 18 minutes, and I mean, I mean, it's 19 minutes. Uh, I mean, this is this is too much. You know, there is. N it's really really hard now I mean like blindly 
like making some unit like Raven or Leap or any other unit that you know, blindly making oh this is good to, to make it you know uh, mass let's let's go mass Ravens or mass Leaps this is never good this is just uh, good if you know why you're doing it and uh, w w what you are countering in overall and what you can counter overall like in, in the general matchup otherwise that's okay some unit is good but doesn't give you victory nonetheless like, uh, like no matter what or something like that Okay, yeah, the top team is solidifying their advantage. The gas count is 8 to 5 right now. Okay, 8 to 6 as I say that. The bottom team is still trying something. I, I like to see it, but they're doing something. <sighs> Alright. <laughs> Who was that, Tris? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Redoubt finally decides that maybe a Viking or two would be good here in this situation. Yeah, Viking or two, <laughs> like where enemy has lines. <laughs> Tamillion taking up into those Ultralis, the the micro, uh, actually, I'm not sure where the micro went there. He was biling on top of his own units, and now that's a lot of marauders. Think, the marauders are going to see each other on the nexus. Yeah. No, no this, this is GG. I think soon. Oh, well, um, survives one more wave. Yeah, I mean, this is soon GG, and um, I must say it's already 22 minutes mark. Like with this uh, composition, it's, I think. Not possible to come back. Unfortunately, it would be really good if there are some good comebacks and stuff. But yeah, that, that wasn't possible this game. The mineral advantage is just too much in favor of the top team right now. Yeah, exactly. They have four gas, four, three. Yeah. Yeah, dude, it's 11 gas to 7 gas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, I'm, there's just not a lot to say in this particular game right now. Like, there's not a lot of going on. I, I wish there was some sort of comeback mechanic for the bottom team, but this is just going to be a death there, by a thousand cuts. Yeah, there was, but, like, it's too late, right? Yeah, there's... There's not a lot of games where you come back at the 23 minute mark. I would say like that's yeah, like, yeah. that's less than one percent of games. Maybe one of one games we came back against you. <laughs> yeah, I think there the was one game. <laughs> Just one game. I guess there was yes. Thousands. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the top team has 12 gas now, so from here on out, it's going to be only units from them. So this, the end, we are approaching the 25 minute mark where we're gonna get the T4. So this should speed up the game quite a little bit. Okay, sieges are on top of the Nexus, so that's very good for the bottom team. They're gonna get. A very good trade. The issue is that they have doors, so these doors they're already trading out with the lips, so the lips are going down and then whatever lips remain. Doors doors doesn't have any attack. 
<laughs> upgrade also. Plus zero attack doors. Yes. I mean, uh, read at least read ups doors are three attack, but PPUs at Doors are just three armor. Okay, four T four is at the same time. So four players are already going for T four. A little bit of lag. Okay, I guess you covered. You recovered. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Uh, I lagged. I'm not sure how that works for the stream, though. I mean, this is still not Nexus, but like, yeah. I think the stream is reconnecting right now. Yeah, we're not live right now. I see. Uh, the stream died, unfortunately. Uh, that's unfortunate. Close. GG, I guess. Maybe. <laughs> I think. Mm, no, okay, no. Okay, no, not, no. not yet. <laughs> okay. Not yet. Turtle turns. <laughs> we should be back. We should be live again now. Okay. Okay. Turtle Terrence, I guess. <laughs> yeah, Terran man, it's so hard to kill <laughs> Terrence. They make bio yeah. and, and doors and both of them are lips. really good at protecting yeah. the the Nexus and the lips don't kill the Nexus, so that just stalls the game so much. Yeah. Yeah, but Tamilin stopped trying because he's biling down his own units, he's biling down the Nexus. So yeah, yeah, I think this is GG, yeah. This is G and you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, GG is called then. Pajama this World 6, the... game number 3. Okay, is there any more games or this is it? Yeah, this is it. Okay.